Ang math ay easy lang. Basta alam mo kung paano sumunod sa mga rules and regulations nito. Ako po si Ma'am Carol, isang guro ng mathematics. Included in the DepEd curriculum of mathematics, that would be for grade 9 level, fourth quarter. This, uh, this particular topic is already near the end of uh, the school year. And uh, this is included in module 7 of triangle trigonometry. Let's start our discussion by defining the unit circle. So the unit circle is drawn in a Cartesian plane with center at the origin and radius equal to one unit. Okay, so this uh, unit circle is special. It's because um, yung kanyang center, which is a part of the circle, is coincidentally also the origin of the Cartesian plane. So we know uh, from our previous discussion that the Cartesian plane is composed of x and y axis. The numbers here are positives. The numbers on the left are negatives. Do naman sa y axis, the numbers going up are positive and the numbers going down are negative. So, itong gitna na to is the origin. And what's special about the unit circle is the center of the circle is in the origin. Another special thing about this is the radius. The radius is the distance from the center to the circle. So, iisipin nyo guys sa uh, pag sinabing circle, we are not talking, yung kinokoloran nyo nung kayo ay kinder or elementary yung loob na to, di ba? Pag sinabing, oh, you color the circle, kukulayan mo yung loob ng yellow o kaya ng blue, ng red, no. When it comes to mathematics, the circle is the line. Yun lang din niya na to sa paligid. That is the circle. It's not the area inside. It's not the area outside. It is the line. And uh, a special characteristic of circle is, pagka umikot ka dun sa line na yon, wherever that is, yung distance niya from the center is consistently equal. So, from here to here, ang measure niya ay 1. From here to here, ang measure niya ay 1. From here going there, ang measure niya equal sa 1. So, consistent siya. Kaya siya naging bilog. Okay? Now, ang gagawin natin ngayon is we are going to um, ge geometrically represent yung six trigonometric function natin based on the unit circle. Okay, so let's start with the radius. So, sabi ko nga kanina, there is a radius. There is a radius from here to there, and uh, uh, coincidentally, nakapatong siya dun sa x-axis natin. Pero para, para mas maganda yung discussion natin, we have drawn another radius from the center going to this point. Okay, so kunyari, pangalanan natin yan na point A. Okay, so meron tayo, ay, I'm sorry, yung A natin yung uh, center, so kunyari, pangalanan natin yan na point B. Okay? So, uh, Ang length ng ating radius, of course, ay equal sa 1. And then, if we are going to make a reflection, okay? So, maggawa tayo ng line from B papunta don sa x-axis natin. Perpendicular siya. Ibig sabihin ng perpendicular, it forms a right angle here, di ba? So, meron tayo doon. This is representing yung length nitong red na to sa trigonometric function natin represents sine theta. Ngayon, anong ibig sabihin ng theta na to? So, kung mapapansin mo, meron tayo dito na theta na black, ba? Nung nilagay natin yung line segment na to, 
naka-form tayo ng angle kasi meron tayo ditong initial side at saka ito yung terminal side natin. So, nakabukas siya. So, this one, itong uh, laki na to, creates an angle with the measure of theta. Ngayon, kung nag-a-algebra tayo dati, di ba meron tayong mga variables na x at saka y. So, yun yung mga variables na ginagamit natin sa mga numbers. Pagdating naman sa mga angles, ang variable na ginagamit natin uh, most of the time ay yung uh, Greek alphabet na theta. So, pag given ka ng theta or if you know the measure of theta and you don't know the measure of this line, all you need to do is compute for sine of theta. Yun na yung length nung red line na yun. So, yun yung represent, uh, representation niya. So, sine theta is this line. The red line. Take note ha. From B going down to the x-axis and making a right angle or perpendicular siya. Okay? So, this line actually is not, is not reflective of the x-axis. Tingnan mo, ito ay kaparallel ng y-axis. So, yung layo nito, papunta doon, ay this is actually y. Diba? Reflective siya sa y-axis. Yung next naman, so, from here, and then papunta naman doon, if we are going to make a line segment, which is parallel to the x-axis, and perpendicular to y-axis. So, yung lengths na to is the geometric representation of cosine theta. So, yun. Okay? So, galing doon na, laging yun yung uh, consistent na, na point natin, yung B. Okay? So, cosine yun na. Next. From here naman, from B again, if you are going to make a line, which is perpendicular dun sa hypotenuse o dun sa, dun sa ating radius. So, ito naman, nandito naman yung 90, de 90 degrees. Kasi ito kanina, nandito yung 90 degrees. Ito, nandito yung 90 degrees. Ngayon, pag nagguhit ka dito, tapos dito naman yung 90 degrees sa, sa radius, tapos in-extend mo siya dito, dun lang siya matatapos sa dun sa x-axis. That is the geometric, uh, geometric representation of tangent theta. And then, yung opposite niya, yan. So, galing ulit dun sa B, point B natin, going up hanggang matapos siya dun sa uh, y-axis. Dun lang siya natapos. Okay? Hindi ko na siya in-extend. Hindi siya ma, uh, lalayo pa dun. So, kulay brown siya. Okay? This is the geometric representation of cotangent theta. Another. So, we have four na, di ba? Sine, cosine, tangent, and cotangent. Now, if we are going to make a line segment from the origin, papunta doon sa dulo ng tangent, that is the geometric representation of second theta. So, if you want to get the measure of this line, that is equal to second theta. So, yun na. So, yun pa rin yung theta natin. And then, yung last natin, this green line from the origin, papunta dun sa dulo ng uh, line segment na nagre-represent sa cotangent. This entire line segment, the length of that, is the geometric representation of cosecant theta. So, that completes the six trigonometric functions natin. Sine cosine, tangent, cotangent, second, at saka cosecant. So, natapos na tayo dun sa geometric part at representation ng six trigonometric function. So, what we're going to do next, so, mga computation na tayo, yung uh, magsasolve na tayo, nagagamit ng calculator. And before we do that, let's Start first with the three basic trigonometric ratio. So, ang clue natin din, syempre, yung diniscuss ko kanina, yung unang tatlo muna. Okay? So, let's have an example. Uh, we have a right triangle here. 
right triangle is defined as a triangle uh, whose one of the angles is 90 degrees. So, yung opposite side ng right angle natin, ang tawag natin dito ay hypotenuse. Okay? So, hypotenuse. Ngayon, yung dalawang dito sa side na to, yung A at saka yung B, uh, pag hindi naman very specific, ang tawag lang natin doon, legs. Okay? So, the legs of a right uh, triangle. So, isa lang yung may uh, different name, it's because it is opposite the 90 degree angle. Ngayon, papasok natin dito yung inaral natin kanina na theta. Okay? So, if this is a theta, which is a general um, or a variable representing the measure of this angle, okay, yung A na to, para specific, we will call it the, the, the side opposite angle theta. Diba? Sa kanya nakabuka, naka opposite siya nito. And then, yung B natin becomes the side which is adjacent to angle theta. Okay? So, ulit. Ito yung theta natin. Kung saan siya naka-open, yun yung opposite. Yung part ng angle is adjacent. Of course, the other one is still the hypotenuse. Okay? So, yan lang yung mga terminology kasi ito yung mga, ito yung mga words na gagamitin natin kapag gumagawa na tayo ng trigonometric ratio. So, ayan. Meron tayong picture dito. Yan din yung nandun sa kanina sa cover. So, kung ito ay uh, familiar, narinig mo na yung sokatowa. Sokatowa. Ayan. Mnemonic ulit siya kasi mas madali siyang tandaan. So, katawa, so, katawa, so, katawa. But, so, katawa means something else. ba? Diba? The letters S-O-H is actually, this S represents sign. And O represents opposite. And H represents hypotenuse. So, so, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Dito naman sa ka, cosine theta is equal to adjacent side over hypotenuse. Okay, so sana makita nyo yung pattern. And then, tong last na to, yung towa, yung T represents tangent O for opposite side and A for adjacent side. So, eto na yung, ano, yung ratio natin. Tatandaan nyo yung ratio parang fraction, di ba? So, if you want to find sine theta, pag meron kang mga given na mga lengths ng side, okay? At gusto mo makuha yung sine theta, eh, yun lang yung gagawin mo. Di ba? So, maggagawa ka lang ng uh, ratio. So, kaya nyo na tandaan yan, ha? So, katowa. Sine, opposite, hypotenuse. Cosine, adjacent, hypotenuse. Towa, tangent, opposite, adjacent. So, let's continue. Kasi tatlo lang yung diniscuss natin kanina. So, we will now discuss yung other three. So, di ba meron tayong ginamit na so katowa? Kasi yun lang naman ang kailangan nating tandaan. Now, ano naman yung kasunod, yung kasunod na tatlo pa? Meron tayong word dito ang sabi reciprocal. Reciprocal is a ratio that is a mathematical inverse or multiplicative inverse of the given. So, the product of the given and the reciprocal is equal to 1. So, ito yung ibig sabihin nung word na reciprocal. Pag may given ka na ratio ng A over B, ang reciprocal niya, B over A. Binaliktad mo lang yung position ng numerator at saka ng denominator. So, ito yung given, yung reciprocal niya, babalik ta rin mo yung position. Yung dating denominator magiging numerator, at yung dating numerator magiging denominator. So, ganun lang yan. Tapos, pag minultiply mo silang dalawa, equal siya sa 
1. Ngayon, paano mo ma daw matatandaan yung other 3? Yung second, cosecant, at saka cotangent. Madali naman yung cotangent, di ba? Di, eto na yung clue mo, yung tangent. Pagka nireciprocal mo yung tangent kanina, di ba meron tayong towa, T, opposite, adjacent. Balik ta rin mo lang daw yun, yun na yung cotangent. Tinan mo, naging adjacent over opposite. So, you don't have to remember yung mga other three trigonometric function. Uh, ang gawin mo lang na clue, yung, yung ating so katawa kanina. ba So, cotangent is just the reciprocal of tangent. Tapos ito, para ko tumatandaan, ito yung ginagawa ko. Tinan mo, ang pangalan nito, second. Ang kanyang ka-reciprocal ay cosine, 'di ba? Letter C 'yan. Tapos 'yung naman cosine, I'm sorry, ito naman cosecant, ang ka-reciprocal niya ay sine. So 'yung mga letter, 'di ba, magka-opposite na ganun. So hindi mo pwedeng pagbalik na rin na ang reciprocal ng cosine ay cosecant. Huwag ganun. Ang reciprocal ng cosine ay secant. Tingnan niyo 'yung kuluha, 'yung C at saka S. Tapos ito naman din ganun, 'yung 'yung reciprocal ng cosecant ay 'yung sine. So, anong ibig sabihin ng reciprocal? All you need to do is to reverse the position ng numerator at saka ng denominator. So, pag halimbawa, kukuha ka ng, ano, ng test ng entrance examination, tapos may trigonometry, uh, lagay mo na agad yung so katawa, tapos uh, dun sa isang, ano, sa isang scratch paper, kasi yun yung natatandaan mo, so katawa. And then, from there, malalaman mo na kung ano yung Uh, cotangent, cosecant, at saka secant. Diba? So, there. Tapos, uh, magkakaroon tayo ng exercise later on. That's why I am doing a review of the Pythagorean theorem. So, hindi ba sabi natin doon sa Pythagorean theorem, if you are given the sides, the three sides of a right triangle, tapos again, ha, ang tawag natin dito ay hypotenuse, tapos dito, uh, wala naman tayong theta, kaya ang tawag lang natin dito sa A at saka yung B yung legs. Ang formula daw natin para mo makuha yung square ng hypotenuse, square mo din yung A, one of the leg, at saka yung B. So, square mo pareho, ia-add mo yung squares ng mga measures ng leg. So, paano mo daw makukuha yung value ng C kung yung A mo ay 6 at saka yung B mo ay 8? So, following the formula, c squared is equal to 6 squared at saka squared. Ang ibig sabihin ng 6 squared, 6 times 6, hindi 6 times 2. So, 6 times 6 is 36, 8 times 8 is 64. So, di ba ginagamit natin dun sa PEMDAS, unahin mo daw muna yung mga exponent before you add. So, after mo na ma-evaluate yung mga exponents, yan, saka tayo mag add yung... 36 plus 64 is equal to 100. Pero, tingnan mo dito kanina, meron niyang square, di ba? Ang opposite expression or opposite operation ng square ay square root. So, para mawala yung 2 dito, kailangan yung kabilang side is square root mo. So, what is the square root of 100? That is 10. Kasi 10 times 10 equals 100. So, the value of C is equal to 10. So, Ito ay equal sa 10, ito ay equal sa 8, at ito ay equal sa 6. That is the Pythagorean theorem. So now we are going to do exercises on trigonometric ratios. So our instructions, our instruction here says that in each of the questions below, calculate either the missing angle or side stated. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. So, here we have three different triangles. Ano yung common sa kanila? All of them are right triangles. So, isa sa mga angles nila ay 90 degrees. At, uh, so, we are asked to find either the missing side or the missing angle. So, let's analyze the, the exercise uh, one by one. Let's start with the very first one. So, in any mathematical problem, uh, the best way to deal with it is to state the given 
and the one that you are going to search for or to compute for. Okay, so, pagka nakalatag na ganito yung mga uh, dapat gawin, mas madali na para sa atin yung pagsusolve or yung paggawa ng solution. So, let's analyze the illustration here. The first illustration. This is the longest side opposite to the 90 degree angle. Therefore, this is the hypotenuse. So, that's why it says here the hypotenuse is equal to 13 centimeters. Another given is the measure of the angle. So, itong angle na to, 56 degrees. Okay, that's why we have here the angle theta is equal to 56 degrees. The one that is missing is this side. Okay, so we already have the, the hypotenuse. So, which of this is this side? Diba dalawa na lang yung choice natin, either adjacent or opposite. And we have um, stated earlier that yung opposite is the one kung saan nakabuka yung angle. So, this is the opposite. Therefore, this one is the adjacent. So, ang adjacent side is the side which is actually part of the angle. So, that's why adjacent is equal to A. So, let's analyze the second illustration. Again, the one that is opposite the 90 degree angle is the hypotenuse and we don't have a value for that. So, this is the one that we are asked to find. So, ayan yan. And then, the, the givens are, okay, look at the position of the 6 cm. 6 cm is opposite the 35 degree angle. Therefore, it is the side opposite. And then, yung measure ng angle natin ay 35 degrees. Okay? So, next. Dito naman sa third illustration, again, we have a right triangle. Now, again, the one that is opposite the, the 90 degree angle is the hypotenuse. Therefore, 39 meter, yun yung ating hypotenuse. That's the measure. And then, this is our angle. Okay? And we don't have a measure for that. Therefore, that is the one that we are asked to find. Okay? And then, etong side na to, which is part of the angle, that is our adjacent side. So, that's the analysis of the given and the missing or the unknown dun sa tatlong exercises natin. So, let's proceed. The solution for... The first problem. So, let's recall, okay, again, this is the illustration. We were given the hypotenuse of 13 centimeter and the angle of 56 degrees. And we are asked to find the adjacent side, which is equal to the variable A. So, let's solve our uh, first problem. If you remember, meron tayong mnemonic na Sokatoa. Yan. And, uh, nilagyan ko dito ng red yung second part, yung ka. Bakit kaya? It's because, ang involved dito sa problem natin ay yung hypotenuse at saka yung adjacent. So, kung hahanapin mo dito sa tatlo na to, yung involve yung hypotenuse at adjacent ay itong grupo na to which is for the cosine because cosine of theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse ayun okay so yun again ha, bakit ko pinili yung ka o yung second group it's because meron na akong clue na nung inilista ko yung given at saka yung find dun sa ating ratio or trigonometric ratio involve ang hypotenuse at saka adjacent so these two uh, are my clues that's the reason why I chose yung ka and recalling that the ratio of cosine theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse so, what we're going to do is to use cross-multiplication to transfer hypotenuse to the left side of the equation. Kasi hindi ba siya yung, uh, yung hinahanap natin ay adjacent, right? At mayroon siyang kasamang hypotenuse dun sa denominator. 
So, hindi ba ang ginagawa natin kapag ka meron tayong equation? Kailangan yung missing or yung unknown, mag-isa lang siya doon sa isang side ng equation at ililipat natin lahat ng mga kasama niya. So, ang gagawin natin ng operation since they are quotient, ang kanyang opposite ng quotient ay multiplication. Kaya meron tayong tinawag dito na cross multiplication. So, anong ginawa natin? Yung hypotenuse natin dito, we are going to multiply it with cosine theta. That's why we have this equation. So, dito naman sa equation na to, what happened was, we changed, we already changed the value of theta into 56 degrees. So, cosine of 56 degrees is equal to the hypotenuse, which is ito, yun nandito sa ilalim kanina, at naiwan na lang sa right side yung adjacent side. So, our uh, next thing to do is um, to evaluate, sabi dito, use calculator to get the value of cosine 56 degrees. So, meron naman tayong trigonometric uh, calculator. So, ang lalabas dyan, 0.5591. Actually, masyadong mahaba yan. Kinuha ko lang yung 4 decimal places. Pero pag uh, kinlik mo yan sa calculator, sobrang kay haba-haba yan kasi nga irrational number siya. And then, uh, pinasok ko din yung value ng hypotenuse natin which is 13, kaya meron siya. And then, our missing side adjacent which is A. That's why I have this equation na puro numbers na lang siya. So again, it's not always na laging, minsan si teacher ayaw niya na gumamit tayo ng calculator, di ba? Pero pinapabayaan niya tayong magtumingin sa mga trigonometric table o kaya magbibigay siya ng maraming maraming equivalent values ng mga uh, trigonometric functions ng mga angles at pipiliin na lang natin dun yung uh, i-substitute natin. So um, on my part here, gumamit ako ng calculator. So ito yung lumabas. Okay? Now, anong susunod natin na gagawin? We multiply the left side of the equation. So yung 0.5591, i-multiply sa 13 at ito yung lumabas 7.2683 which is equal to A. Ngayon, ang instruction natin if you remember it, kailangan good up to 1 decimal place lang siya. So, i-round off natin yan. So, bali, i-drop natin yung tatlo doon sa kana ng 2. However, hindi naman natin siya basta pwedeng i-drop kasi yung kasunod ng 2 which is 6 is greater than 5. Therefore, ang gagawin natin ay dadagdagan natin yung 2 ng 1. Kaya naging 7.3 cm siya. So, yung missing value natin na A, ito is equal to 7.3 cm and that ends the solution for our first problem. Dito naman sa ating problem number 2, so let's recall, we are given the opposite side of 6 centimeters, and then our theta or angle measures 35 degrees, and what is missing is the hypotenuse. Again, what's our clue? So, katoa. So, we have OH. OH. So, alin doon? Hindi naman pwedeng towa, ba? Kasi, OA yun. Tapos, yung K, A, H, yun. So, this is O, H. So, ang natira na lang sa atin, yung so, ba? There. Kaya nilagyan ko siya ng red. So, the sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Yan. So, yan yung ating uh, trigonometric ratio. So, again, ang hinahanap natin ay yung hypotenuse, ba? Ito. So, ito, pakinggan nyo ito na mabuti or tingnan nyo na mabuti. Take note, kanina yung adjacent, nung inilipat natin, naging adjacent lang siya. Eh. Pero ito, yung hypotenuse, nasa denominator siya. So, magko-cross multiply ulit tayo. That's, that's uh, yun talaga yung ginagawa, ba Para mapupunta siya sa taas. Kaya lang, hindi lang yun yung gagawin natin. Actually, i-exchange natin yung position nung hypotenuse at saka nung sine. Bakit? Kasi ang aim natin, yung hypotenuse, kailangan maging solo lang siya. Dun sa last uh, problem natin, nung inakyat natin yung hypotenuse, tumabi siya dun sa cosine theta, ba? Pero ngayon, ang aim natin, kailangan si hypotenuse mag-isa. Kaya mag-exchange sila ng 
position. Ang tawag pa rin doon, cross multiplication. This, so, this is the one, uh, yung sumunod na step after na nag-cross multiply tayo. So, take note, yung position na na hypotenuse ay nasa left side of the equation na siya. Tapos, yung sin theta, siya na yung napunta doon sa denominator. So, pwede yon cross multiplication pa rin yun. So, ano yung susunod na gagawin natin? So, again, we are going to use calculator to get the value of sine of 35 degrees. Or, if your teacher would allow you, use the trigonometric table. Or, if the teacher already gives you sets of uh, values for uh, specific trigonometric functions for uh, specific angles, di mas magaling, di ba? Kasi, yun na lang yung gagamitin mo na value. So, Uh, mag uh, ano na tayo, di ba? Magpapalit na tayo. So, yung B natin, yung hypotenuse natin, ito yung B. Tapos, yung opposite side natin, yung 6. Tapos, yung denominator natin ay 0.5736 kasi yun yung value ng sine 35 degrees nung ginamit ko yung calculator. So, again, this is an irrational number. Pag lumabas siya sa calculator, it's super haba non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. So, laging kinukuha ko lang yung uh, first four. At saka, syempre, nira-round off ko siya doon. So, our next step is to divide 6 by 0.5736. And using our calculator, we are going to get 10.4603. Now, if we are going to follow the initial instruction that our final answer should only have one decimal place, So, let's take a look at 603 because we are going to drop it. And since the number next to 4 is 6, so our uh, step is to add 1 dun sa 4 before dropping yung 603. So, our final answer is going to be 10.5 centimeters. So, that ends uh, the solution for our second exercise. So, again, ha, yung hypotenuse natin, 10.5 centimeters. So, for our third exercise, we have here, uh, as a review, uh, given yung hypotenuse natin na 39 meters, and adjacent natin, 34 meters, at saka nawawala yung uh, theta. Yung angle ang nawawala ngayon. So, clue again. So, we have AH. So, so katowa. So, malamang, yung pangalawa ulit, no? yung ka. Yan. Kasi meron tayong involved na adjacent at saka hypotenuse. So, recalling the uh, trigonometric ratio, cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So, ngayon, ang nawawala sa atin ay yung theta. Diba? Pero, yung theta natin may katabi, katabing operation. Tatandaan nyo yung trigonometric functions na yon na sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, second, cosecant is a mathematical operation. So, pareho din siya ng uh, plus, minus, multiplication, division, operation yon. So, kailangan ang maiwan lang sa atin ay yung theta. So, aalisin natin yung operation. Now, what is the inverse operation of cosine? Pakaraniwan na sa atin, the inverse of addition is subtraction. The inverse of multiplication is division. The inverse of square is square root. But what is the inverse of cosine? Yan. So, gagawin natin yon. And uh, before we do that, sabi dito, we have to... Um, we have to put the values of the adjacent side, which is 34, and the hypotenuse of 39. Tapos, using our calculator, we are going to get the value nung quotient na to. Diba? Yan. Tapos, eto na nga, yung uh, hanapin natin yung inverse ng cosine. So, use the inverse trigonometric function in your calculator or search for the value on the trigonometric table. So, guys, eto yung sinasabi ko kanina dun sa umpisa na what's the inverse of cosine? So, dun sa mga ibang calculator, ang inverse function ng cosine ay yung ganito ang itsura, yung cosine na may uh, superscript na negative 1. Okay? Or, merong mga calculator na ito yung lumalabas. Arc. 
cosine. Okay? So, yun. Parehas lang silang dalawa. So, if, when you do that, pag nag, uh, nag arc cosine ka, what happens is, yung dating cosine operation na nakatabi nung theta, lumipat na siya sa kabila. Okay? So, ano yung lalabas? So, ang lalabas dyan, yung value ng theta natin. So, pag kinalculator nyo siya, ang lalabas doon ay 29.3315 or 3315. And again, we are going to follow the initial instruction na dapat ay isang decimal place. So, ang kasunod ng 3 ay 315. Yung kasunod na talaga na kasunod niya ay 3, which is less than 5. So, wala tayong i-add sa 3. We will just drop this. And the final answer is 29.3 degrees. So, yan yung measure ng theta natin dito sa third illustration. So, that ends our lecture for today. Actually, mahabang-mahaba itong module ng trigonometry. So, just... um wait para dun sa mga susunod pa natin na videos kasi gusto ko ding gumawa nung talagang applications nung trigonometric function dun sa mga real life situation. So, thank you very much for watching and God bless. Huwag niyo pong kalimutan na mag-like, subscribe, and share ng video ito. At kung meron pa po kayong mga gustong itanong o mga topics na dapat na-discuss ko, please comment down below.